Hello and welcome to Nowhere. My name is Trish and I am the creator behind Nowhere Novelties. A very popular design for tumblers right now is the like starburst. Um, it's hard to describe, so I'm just gonna show you. I recreated this from another Tumblr creator. I think it was in Jessica Flynn's um, group on Facebook, and I'm sorry, it's stunning. If you're ready, let's strap in and shoot for the stars. I have a 30 ounce skinny straight base painted white. Um, I'm using epoxy method to apply my glitters. This is Carnival from Mr. Nola's Glitter. Sunburst from Glitter Heart Company. Uh, Neon Lights, also from Glitter Heart Company. Soup Gray Junior, this is from Mr. Nola's Glitter and Blue Velvet from Glitter Heart Company. I knew I wanted like the rainbow to go in both directions. <laughs> That's kind of hard to describe. So I started with the pink in the middle and the blue on either ends of the cup. And I'm starting with a really super soft um, sprinkle at first, just so I can start to get my spacing. And then I'm gonna go back in and start to fill in and get a better feel for um, where I need to ombre and fill in other spots. I'm adding the yellow here in the center because again, I'm going to be creating the fade from one color to the next. So I'm kind of starting with like, if you think about it, primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Um, but my red being pink. Anyway, <laughs> um, and then I am adding in stripes of those like complementary kind of transition colors, the orange between the pink and yellow, and then I'll be adding the green between the yellow and the blue. Um, obviously, this is not being ombre yet. Again, I'm just laying down like a foundation, a spacing, just getting where I want those colors to be first before I go in and as Jessica Flynn would say let her rip um, and kind of go a little heavier on those colors and really start to blend them out. So here I'm about to go back to the pink and start to get a little heavier and blend out. So I'm holding the glitter shaker up pretty high and starting to tilt my tumbler back and forth so that I'm letting the pink cascade down into the orange and I'm coming in with the orange. And again, tilting up, tilting down on each side of the cup so that it's blending into the pink and down into yellow. Repeating the process with the yellow, kind of targeting where my original stripe was and then tilt up and tilt down to create that soft, seamless blend. And again, with the green, so that I can blend the yellow and the blue into the green. <laughs> it's a very repetitive process, but this is the key to kind of getting a soft um, and really seamless ombre. And then I'm finishing off with that blue going much heavier handed this time and softening that transition line from the green into the blue. Um, from here, you're gonna want at least two coats of epoxy, if not three. You want this to be smooth as butter before you move on to the next step. I did apply, or I did um, sand my surface just to really make sure I was gonna have a really smooth surface. This is the Starburst pattern. It is cut out on Oracal stencil vinyl. Um, I'll have it linked in the description box below and I am pulling the wider stripes because I want the wide stripes on the cup to be my black stripes. So basically you're kind of creating a peekaboo if you wanna call it that. These stripes I'm going to spray paint over with black. So the stencil vinyl that I'm leaving behind, the, those smaller stripes are gonna be what the, um, rainbow 
the glitter behind it is going to shine through. Once I pulled all of the um, bursts that I did not need on my template, I did lay um, a large sheet of transfer tape onto this stencil vinyl so I could get this transitioned um, or transferred over to the cup um, as easily as possible. I did um, kind of oversize this template. Um, so it's a little taller, um, but just basically the right width. So I do have some overhang on the top and bottom of the cup, which is okay. Um, that allowed me to eyeball this um, and line up the uh, the seam, the, the back portion of the cup. I pulled the whole backing paper off and rolled my template onto my cup. I knew I was not going to be able to do it any other way. I am terrible at <laughs> transferring vinyl on a full wrap. And this is what she looks like after spray paint and a single coat of epoxy. And I applied epoxy because I knew I was going to pinstripe and I didn't want to disturb that spray paint in any way. I am using this like really reflective um, holographic nail tape. It's super, super thin and that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want like super chunky pinstripes. I wanted like from afar, from far away, you can't even see that this is pinstriped but it just has that sparkle detail that I think really sets off the design of this cup. I love the stark contrast between the bright glitter background colors and that super like just punchy black spray paint. Um, just the contrast in and of itself. It, it, it's like Lisa Frank on steroids. <laughs> um, so anyway, I am pinstriping all of the black um, sections. And after this is fully pinstriped, I did. So I applied up a, a layer of epoxy. And after, while that was turning, I sprinkled a little bit of make a wish from um, the glitter grind. It is a silver holographic chunky glitter mix that basically matches the pinstriping perfectly. I sprinkled it just at the center point um, on the front of the cup where all of the points come together. I thought that was like the, the cherry on top, babe. Like that set the whole thing off. Um, I don't show that in the recording, but I did add that and I didn't want to forget to tell you guys about it. I hope you absolutely love this tutorial and please, please, please give it a try with whatever background glitter color you want or whatever um, stripe color you want. I think it would be really cool to see this maybe done um, almost like inverted, like your stripes one, one color way and then your stripes another color way. That would be really cool to see. Anyway, see y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am trying to reach um, 1,000 followers um, or subscribers by my channel anniversary, one year anniversary on July 1st. Bye guys.